Hi guys, we're back, and uh, this is a note from the Prickly Pear Pale Ale. The more I drank it, the more that zesty grapefruit kind of shined through in the whole mouthfeel, so that's pretty nice. Okay, next one. Out of breath, dog ran away, big drama, back. Okay, let's stay in the Pale Ale category, but we'll do an IPA this time. Mellow Down Easy Black IPA, 7.4% alcohol by volume. This will be the last beer for me today. Maybe. I might have one other one later. But I gotta do running around today, so two beers and then chillax time for a while. This is of course from Nate and Brad at Under the Table Brewing Company. Or Under the Table Brewing. So thank you very much guys for sending me these. These are really awesome. And I hope uh, you enjoyed the beers that I sent you. That was a long time ago. Okay. A little bit of light coming through here, otherwise black. Off white head, almost like khaki colored head. Okay. Nice tight bubbles. Pillowy head. Let's get aroma. Wow. That is a nice, nice aroma. <coughs> it's mixing. Soft dankness, earthiness, pine, a firm pine and a blending citrus note. Blending grapefruit note. Almost getting a hair of blue spruce through there, that kind of pine note. Kind of like the smell of this. It reminds me of a... Uh... Why didn't you tell me? Sorry. You didn't tell me. You guys should have told me. Reminds me of a... Uh... We had a... Well, we set our Christmas trees up in an outside porch, and you know, I live with my family. And very cold air. That cold air, that pine note, blue spruce note, very nice. I like beers that reflect you on the different things in your brain. <coughs> yeah, that happens too. Cheers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's an earthy pine, man. That's a bitter, earthy pine. Really setting in a lot of IBUs in this one, I have to assume. It's gnawing at you. For it, it did this. This isn't for everybody. If you don't like that kind of bitterness, you won't like this very much, but it's not a commercial beer, so that's fine. But before that happened, you were starting to get that roasty, toasty note, lingering hints of coffee. Wasn't pulling a lot of chocolate out there, but there was a little bit of that kind of touch of a soft cacao nib, something like that, just in the front. Subtle hit of that before it blended into more of a, a coffee. Yeah. And right when it was doing that, you were getting a little bit of a zest note coming forward too. A zesty grapefruit note at the same time. I'd, I'd say that the <coughs> Jesus, out of shape. Can't be running after dogs. As I say, that zesty note rises with that subtle chocolate note before the roasty toasty note kind of uh, covers everything with that nice coffee note and then blends in with that huge pine. The grapefruit doesn't die. The, that zesty citrus note does linger along with it, but. There's a lot of earthiness and a lot of pine going on too. Ooh, and carbonation. Mm. Medium body. It for the hops that it has, for a big IPA. Westy coasty almost IPA. Not quite, but there's a lot of pine. Very pine forward, earthy. Love the blue spruce that I'm getting out of it, that kind of note. Um, I think the citrus and, and uh, pine does play with each other quite well. Uh, you do get the sense that it's a black IPA, obviously the color, but you, you are getting those tannic, astringent, um, roasted grains mixing in with that bitterness from the, from the hops. You are getting those slight roasted, toasted coffee notes in there. That's really nice. What would I give this overall? Black IPA. It's 
a little bit, little bit thin for me for the IPA, black IPA style. I would like to get a little bit more going on with those, uh, <coughs> with those dark malts and what they could offer to it. I don't like stouts that are over hopped, so I'm not trying to have that in there. But there's, shoot, there's still more that can be done with the malts, and uh, you can throw up the hops a little bit to make sure they're not so. You want them bold, but not to overshadow what the malts are trying to do. But other than that, 7.4 percent hidden by the the IBU. The ABV is hidden by the IBU, if you know what I mean. Other than that, really good beer. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 without a problem. Without a problem. Meltdown Easy Black IPA from Under the Table Brewing. Cheers to you, Nate and Brad. This has been Paul from PA Brew News. Cheers.